and they're off racing slow break from girls night out and lake haven lady the way we were bounced out well from a wide out draw and this big horse has plenty of speed in the early stages rude boy is handy on the inside emily's dawn is racing quickly up to join them uh, tracking them is uh, then elusive kitty on the outside of the pale blue jacketed ella tista masterman ready in a yellow sleeve top is next from carvis boo in the black and orange and then follows Rendoro, a maroon jacket on the inside. Towards the rear of them, Lake Haven Lady, and then struggling at this stage, Mistress Holly, uh, but not uh, as badly as Girls Night Out. Making the top turn then, with four and a half furlongs to cover, Emily's Dawn from in second place, The Way We Were. Rude Boy is fourth, and then Ella Teaster on the inside. Elusive Kitty now gets a, a reminder or two. Masterman Ready is wider out. Carvis Bowie held up for a stride or two, and then out wide is Lake Haven Lady. Rendoro is now getting off the fence, a gap to Mistress Holly, and finally Girls Night Out. They're racing down towards the final turn, two and a half films to cover. Emily is Dawn with the way we were, just lobbing along on the outside. Rude Boy is back in third. Elusive Kitty responding to pressure, followed by Ella Teaster and then behind these Rendoro stays on from Carbis Bowie. Straightening up for home then, fell and a half left to go but the way we were taken on by Elusive Kitty and Eddie Ahern on the outside. Rendoro runs on into third, Carbis Bowie putting in late work as well. The way we were, far side of Elusive Kitty. Rendoro back in third, a right jaw between Elusive Kitty on the near side and the way we were, far side. They're going to hit the line and it was just the way we were from Elusive Kitty. Third then Rendoro, Carbis Bowie four. So that's a success for Orge Pauliello. I'm not actually sure that might be his first success since he's come over and it's certainly a welcome winner for uh, Terry Mills who's had a very quiet time. I must admit, I, I thought Elusive Kitty looked the likely winner for the entire duration. Eddie Home was almost paranoid about where Cabby's Bowie was, I think, in the run and cast several glances um, over his shoulder at various stages, whereas in actual fact, the danger, between his legs there as well, um, and, you know, in actual fact, the danger was in front because the way Lingfield's ridden today, that's where you want to be. You need to be decisive. When he picked Elusive Kitty up, she's just hung, um, and fair dues, Norgo Pagliello hasn't tried to do anything too flamboyant, he's just kept the way we were going, um, and has uh, seen off the challenge of Elusive Kitty. He's not the biggest in the world, it has to be said, but I thought he looked the most likely winner. Yeah, it's a race, I think, um, it's harsh to say, but Eddie Hearn's lost it rather than... Um, I think it was too much, as you say, paranoia. I kept uh, looking and seeing why Eddie kept looking behind, but uh, as you say, it was obviously looking for the Henry Cecil danger. Um, I think more momentum should have been kept coming around the bend here and, and, and kick on all the time. Worry about your dangers when they come up to you rather than um, with uh, some distance to go still. Uh, it was... But full Four marks, marks to, yeah. to Orge Pagliello, um, because he's, he's got that um, more American style, you can see, um, stick in the forehand position a lot of the time, just keeping the horse going. Um, Took and, the initiative. Yeah, mm. and the horse has drifted out under pressure in the closing stages, but has uh, won, and as I say, full marks to uh, Orge, and it is his first ride, uh, first winning ride in this country. I think he's had two stints over here, or at least a long gap, and there, <laughs> there you can see, saluting the, no doubt, massive number of admirers that uh, are currently giving a standing ovation. But full Marks to him, and as I say, welcome winner for Terry Mills, who I think has gone oh, nearly a month and a half for that winner. Yes, he's had a very bad year, hasn't he? Royal Ascot time, Derby time.